Hi friends, welcome to Sugnan Good Knowledge YouTube channel. Today I am going to familiarize with one of the scheduling tool that is Autosys. In market there are many scheduling tools like Dollar Universe is there, uh, Control M is there, many are there. So for this video we will get more details about autosys okay let's go forward firstly what is autosys autosys as i told it is a scheduling tool one of the scheduling tool and as i mentioned in the point autosys is a automated job control system which is used for monitoring reporting and scheduling so in autosys each and every task it is considered as a job and job it may call anything like it might it might call to a particular command it might call to a script in script like there will be a, script is nothing but um, all the commands in a, um, together in a, written in a file so it might call to a particular command it might call to a particular script or it might call to an executable file so each and everything in autosys it is converted to a job and each job it is accomplished with one of the machine so last third point job can reside on any configured machine that is attached to a network so i hope this is clear we'll move to the next slide instance instance it is one of the most important part of an autosys for an autosys software this instant instance is a licensed version which runs on an autosys server with one or more client on a single machine or on a multiple machine okay uh, for this i will go in detail in the coming videos as of now you keep in mind like uh, for the autosys server instance is a licensed version and for each instance there might be one or more client and each client might resides on a particular machine or might decides on a multiple machines and for an autosys instance there is one of the environmental variable uh, called as auto serve and it is defined it should contain only three letters so what it's like it might be any anything like for production environment we can give as pro for pre prod we can pre production environment we can give ppr so it should not exit three letters now we'll go to the next slide okay before explaining this one we'll go to the next slide and come, we'll come back see this is the most important part of an autosys that that is component of an autosys there are three major component of an autosys that is event server scheduler remote agent remote agent is the one where job actually runs on that particular machine scheduler scheduler is it will be communicating between the event server and the remote agent and event server it is the database database it might be anything like uh, any type of database like oracle uh, cbase anything so in event server it will be having all the informations of the particular job like job name 
at what time it has to run calendar uh, what is the condition uh, to run that particular job so these details it will be there and what scheduler it will do it will continuously keep on scanning the database that is the event server so once it gets like this particular job has met its condition has met its uh, time so it has to trigger now so that scheduler what it will do it will communicate the same thing to the remote agent that this job has to run at this particular time and this on the remote agent the job starts running and this information again in scheduler what it will do it will again communicate to the event server like this job is running currently after that once the job is completed successfully and again the same information is again sent back and it's updated to the database through the scheduler at this point um, this information is enough uh, later on i will give you more explanation of each and but which particular component in the coming videos now what we will do we will go back one slide which i left it okay see i have mentioned like an instance uses its own event server and event processor event processor is nothing but scheduler and operates independently of other autosys instances see here what it happens each instance means for autosys server it might be having multiple instances but for one instances it is having its own event server and scheduler that is what it is explained here and as i told like for instance it should not exit three characters so like by default it is ace as i mentioned it will prod for prod we can use pro for pre prod we can use ppr anything we can use okay we'll move to the next slide this is done events auto says each and every part it is showed uh, which is uh, been uh, scheduled as a job and job in turn it will call for particular event it might um, call automatic um, events can be called automatically or by manually manual manually events are generated by using a send event command this i will discuss in the next session so for this video this much for next video i will be letting uh, let you know more details of autosys so thank you guys for your support